This is George from High Tech Legion. Obviously, it's the large enthusiast coolers that always get the bulk of the attention. The big dual tower coolers, the AIOs, uh, and CLCs. But really, the largest part of the market that uh, is out there is going to be the mainstream and budget coolers. It's going to fit the majority of consumers' needs. Now, typically, we've seen um, quite a few you know, budget and mainstream coolers out there. Some have made a real lot of noise, like the Cooler Master 212 Evo. But typically, we don't see the major manufacturers really getting into this market. And when I say major manufacturers, I'm talking about the real top-tier cooling manufacturers, such as Noctua, Fantex, Be Quiet, Cryorig. But now, with the demand for it, and with CPUs coming down in TDP, making it more and more possible, we're actually seeing these guys getting into it. So, we're going to take a look at some pieces from Be Quiet, Fantex, and Cryorig that are aimed at just that. They're smaller, quieter, and they are budget friendly. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new piece from Be Quiet, the Pure Rock CPU cooler. The Pure Rock is actually Be Quiet's introductory CPU cooler. Uh, it is their budget piece. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the way Be Quiet's uh, structure works as far as naming, Pure is always their introductory pieces, followed by the Shadow as their mainstream pieces, and the Dark Rock pieces as their high end. Uh, so anything with the dark, obviously, top end, followed by the Shadow, followed by the Pure. Now, one of the nice things about Be Quiet is as you move through their lineup, what you tend to lose is niceties. You don't tend to lose anything in the terms of quality of uh, the actual product itself. So you might lose uh, a little bit in the way of features, but you're not losing anything in terms of quality. And that's going to hold tr uh, true here with the Pure Rock as well. Now, getting a look at the packaging, obviously. Um, very nice Be Quiet packaging, all black, with a picture of the Pure Rock 130 watt TDP listed on the front. Be Quiet does list a TDP on all of their coolers, uh, with the Pure Rock being at 130. You, know, you move up to the Shadow Rock Slim and Shadow Rock 2 at 150. You know, you're not going to see a whole lot of variance there. Uh, moving around, you do get a look at a couple of the features, but let's take a look at a couple of the specs that are actually rather important here. Uh, stands 155 millimeters tall, so not going to be a huge concern if you're going into a mid or full tower case. Uh, small form factor, you will want to check that out. Uh, as far as weight on it, you're looking at 680 grams. Uh, the fan included is one of Be Quiet's Pure Rock, one, uh, I should say, um, Pure Wings fans, 120 millimeter, uh, which is capable of about 52 CFM at only 27 dB, 26.8 dB to be exact, 1500 RPM PWM controlled. So some very good looking features that we see on the Pure Rock itself. Now let's get a look at the Pure Rock. Very, very nicely laid out. Be Quiet logo right up top with the design in the top. Now, uh, as we've seen in all the Be Quiet coolers before, the heat pipes are in fact capped. Nice looking caps up top. Uh, there are four six millimeter heat pipes on the uh, Pure Rock, as we see. And getting a look at the front, you see the uh, Pure Wings fan, as I say. Now that is clipped on. It can actually run push pulls, should you desire. You can add a second fan. Also, it is reversible. So you can mount the fan on either side. And taking a look, you can see rather interesting structure of the fin design itself. This gives you a little bit more surface area, also a little bit less restriction in the middle, so you do get a little bit more flow through uh, as far as the cooling. The sawtooth design, as we've seen on many of the uh, Be Quiet designs in the past, also reducing turbulence, so a little bit less noise. Four six millimeter heat pipes, all copper, with copper base, uh, with functional heat fins on the top. They actually do work. Um, to an extent they're not there purely decor uh, decoratively. So you do get a little bit more heat dissipation. The block is pure copper with a nickel finish, polished nice and smooth. Now it does come with uh, thermal interface material applied to the block. I have removed it so that you can see the block itself. And like I say, really nice mirror finish on there. Uh, you do see a little bit of mill mark, nothing to be concerned with. So really, really good looking tower and cooler overall. The uh, Pure Rock I, say, I should say the Pure Wings fan. As you see, typical 120 millimeter fan, Pure Wings 2, right on the back. Uh, the 
Cordon it is a little bit on the short side uh, from what we've seen, but obviously if you're going into a CPU header, not going to be a concern. 4-pin PWM, 1500 RPM fan, as I said. So let's take a look at the accessory kit and go on from there. Going into the accessory kit, everything you need for installation on AM2, AM3, FM1, FM2, as well as Intel 775, 1150, 55, 56, 1366, and 2011 is included. Now taking a quick look. First, start limited warranty card. Manual is included, obviously, and very nicely laid out. Uh, easy to follow along, well illustrated as you see. Should have no problems at all with the installation. One thing I do want to point out, uh, which is pretty interesting, the AMD side of the install uses the factory retention brackets uh, found on your motherboard, and it's a simple two-clip install, so you're going to have a really easy time installing on AMD. Moving on, uh, one of the big complaints with Be Quiet has always been the mounting kit. The Pure Rock uses an entirely different mounting kit than the uh, Dark Rock or Shadow Rock series. Uh, as you see, AMD, or I should say Intel backplate, as well as Intel retention brackets, tool you need for insta uh, Intel installation, the AMD clips, as well as the crossbar, which is used in both installations, and your various nuts, bolts, and standoffs for Intel, uh, as well as the screws for attaching the clips onto an AMD. Uh, looks like a very, very simple install kit, and like I say, looking at the manual, looks like it's going to be a nice, easy installation. So let's get it in the case and see exactly how it goes. Mounting the Pure Rock is a complete departure from anything we've seen from Be Quiet in the past. Uh, first, we're going to start out with the back plate, and on all four corners, obviously, You've got the three notches, 770, uh, 775, 1150 series, 1366. Choose the appropriate placement. And the rear screw goes through the back plate and is held on with a small rubber washer. And just bring that down. It's actually the screws notched down at the bottom and the washer goes over, holds the screw in place and the back plate will go back through the motherboard. As you can see, once you're through, four bolts coming through will then get topped with the spacers. Very important, they are rubber washer on one side, threaded on the other. Make sure you've got the rubber washer against the motherboard. And just want to snug them up. They do have a stop on them, so when you feel the stop, stop turning. You can snug them up by hand if you want to double check them with a the screwdriver. They are slotted. Like I say, you never want to over tighten. Just so you feel a stop. Next, I'm going to take the brackets and we're going to put them into place and they're going to screw down. Uh, you always want the narrow side facing the CPU, go into the proper notch. And we'll screw down right into the spacer. Again, don't over tighten. And don't get your fingers in the uh, thermal interface material, which we've already got on the uh, cooler as well. Or I should say on the CPU.
Now, of course, as I had said earlier, uh, the Pure Rock does come with thermal interface material already applied to it. Obviously, we've taken that off for showing you the block, so we're using Noctua NTH1. And once you're tightened up into place, take the cooler itself, crossbar goes through the center, notch side down, and you'll see it's actually notched to slip into place. And it will hold into place. And we're just going to screw down the crossbar on both sides. Again, it does have a stop, so you don't want to over-tighten. Get the first side started. and tighten it down into place. Obviously very easy install, a uh, little tasky, but very, very easy to complete. And the, cooler, the tower's in place, so now we just need to clip the fan on and plug the fan in. As you can see, all installed, the Purox is a very nice looking cooler, especially at this kind of price point. Uh, as far as RAM clearance, it does block the first RAM slot on Intel boards. Uh, the other three are completely unimpeded, so you do lose the first RAM slot, or uh, I shouldn't say you lose it, but you are going to be limited to standard height RAM. You don't have a whole lot of clearance there, but then again, um, You've also got the fact that the Pure Rock only stands 145 millimeters, so you can move the fan up on it a bit without hitting the side of uh, pretty much any standard size case. So you've got some wiggle room there. You will lose a tiny bit of performance moving the fan up, that's for sure, but uh, you do have some room to work with. Taking a look at the performance numbers here, uh, the Pure Rock. Pretty much, you know, with stock uh, CPU clock, comes in exactly where we'd expect it. A few degrees behind, you know, the larger tower coolers. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, coolers that are costing a little bit more money. But uh, the one thing that's really nice to see here is that 30 dB uh, rating. What's happening there is that, frankly, my dB meter won't pick up anything under 30 dB. And at three feet from the case, it's making no change uh, in the sound level. So really, I mean, this is the, one of the quietest coolers we've ever seen. Now, typically what happens when we turn up the heat here, uh, overclock to 4.4 gigahertz, 1.21 volts, the less expensive coolers will tend to wilt. Uh, the 212 Evo obviously being, you know, one of the ones that uh, generally doesn't. But now, taking a look here, I did not expect the Pure Rock to keep up with uh, the 12DX and the Shadow Rock Slim in the way it has. Performance on it is really outstanding. And, you know, once again, we're seeing, you know, no noise uh, able to be registered by my dB meter. So really outstanding performance from the Pure Rock. All in all, I have to say, the Pure Rock really, really surprised me. I wasn't expecting this type of performance out of this unit. I really wish I'd had a... Uh, Cooler Master 212 Evo around to do a comparison test with, but unfortunately I didn't. However, I have done the 212 Evo against the 12DX, which was in today's test, and I can tell you without a doubt that the Pure Rock performs absolutely as well as the 212 Evo. However, there is one huge difference. The Pure Rock is just about dead silent. Uh, inside the case, with the case closed up, and the fan uh, going at full speed, you can barely hear the Pure Rock at all. Um, it's really one of the quietest coolers we've ever tested. I couldn't even get it to nudge the dB meter. So that's why, you know, looking at the benchmarks, you see that, you know, it shows a 30 dB. That's the lowest point of the dB meter. Couldn't get it to nudge it. Absolutely dead silent. 
The combination of performance and silence is absolutely unmatched in this price, uh, price class, like I say. You know, you're talking about a $34.95 cooler, and performance is just a tick off from the best of the $50 to $55 coolers, um, and you're getting just about dead silence. Now, you do give up some of the niceties, of course, some of the looks. You know, you're going to get with the higher line, be quiet products, but like I say, you're not spending $70 here, so you're spending $35. You know, I really don't think that there's a better $35 cooler out there right now in terms of performance or in terms of noise performance and of course, you know, price performance. So obviously the Be Quiet Pure Rock is going to take home a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award and comes with our highest recommendation for a budget cooler.